Hello and welcome everyone to the Environment Primer series of Dress DIS. My name is Pragya. From today onwards in Environment Primer, we will be discussing major animal projects in India. The title of our today's discussion is Project Elephant. In this discussion, we are firstly going to study about what is the Project Elephant. Then we are also going to analyze the role of elephants in the ecosystem. Then we are also going to see the elephant conservation. Indian scenario, global scenario and the elephant reserves in India. And lastly, we will be seeing some of the questions for your preliminary examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic. Recently, this project elephant has completed 30 years and definitely it is a very significant project launched by the government of India for the conservation of elephants. In fact, to raise awareness about the conservation of elephants. We also celebrate the World Elephants Day. World Elephant Day. Let me know in the comment box below on which date we actually celebrate this World Elephants Day. So basically the whole point of launching this project is to raise awareness about the conservation of elephants in India as they are currently in the endangered state. So, this brings us to the important point of our today's discussion that how elephants are significant to India and what are, uh, is the project elephant and how it is important in their conservation efforts. So, if I talk about elephant, elephant is a national heritage animal of India as well as a keystone species, keystone species. So, as I have said that yes, it is endangered in India, especially the Asian elephants. So, it is protected under Schedule 1 species of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So, concerned at the primary need to restore the elephant habitats and reduce suffering of both elephant as well as the human population. The government of India launched the project elephant in the year 1991-92 as a centrally sponsored scheme and the nodal ministry for the effective implementation of this scheme is the Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change also known as the MOEFCC. So basically this Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is the nodal ministry for the effective implementation of project elephant across India. Moving forward, to, uh, let us now study about the main aims of this project elephant. So, if you talk about the main aims of this project elephant, so the first aim is to conserve the elephants, to conserve the elephants, their habitats, their habitats and corridors. Secondly, to reduce human elephant conflict or the HECs. Thirdly, to protect the right of captive elephants, to protect the Rights of captive elephants. So, these were the main aims or these were the main objectives of the government of India of introduction of the project elephant. And as per the data available on the website of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, currently it is being implemented in 22 states as well as union territory states as well as the union territory. So, this project is being implemented at a very large scale in India. Now, let us understand the major activities of this project elephant. So, the first activity is restoring and preserving natural habitats and migratory routes for elephants. As I have said that yes, the main aim was to conserve the elephants, their habitats and corridors. 
then development of scientific and plant management for conservation of elephant habitats and value population of wild asiatic elephants in india because they are endangered in nature then encouraging strategies to reduce conflicts between human and elephants in crucial areas because this leads leads to the death of not only human population but also the elephant population moving forward moderating pressures of human and domestic stock activities in crucial elephant habitat then strengthening of measures for protection of wild elephants from poachers and unnatural causes of death so for the ivory demand poaching of elephants is a menace it is leading to a lot of deaths of elephants in india then conducting research on project elephant management issues then raising public awareness through education programs promoting eco friendly development and providing veterinary cares for elephants so these are the major activities that are undertaken under the project elephant by the government of india moving forward let us analyze the role of elephants in the ecosystem so if i talk about elephants elephants serve as a critical role in the ecosystem and are therefore known as the keystone species they have been important to us since time immemorial india as a country values elephants historically culturally as well as religiously and if you talk about the hindu religion we consider elephants to be the living incarnation of lord ganesha and that is why they are very important to us elephants help in seed dispersal seed dispersal nitrogen cycles fixing nitrogen cycle then maintaining ecological balance maintaining ecological balance sequestering sequestering of carbon dioxide and which helps in mitigation of the worst impacts of climate change and that is why elephants are also known as ecosystem engineers they play a very crucial role in the protection of the ecosystems and if you talk about elephants they are the largest terrestrial mammals on the earth elephas maximus also known as the asiatic elephant asiatic elephant is found in the central and south western ghats north eastern india eastern india and north in northern india as well as some parts of the southern peninsular india okay so this is the locations in which the elephants or the asiatic elephants are found in india moving forward there are about 50000 to 60000 asian elephants in the world and india accounts for 60% of the world elephant population 60% of the world elephant population but the sad part is they are still endangered in india so india has the largest number of wild asian elephants estimated at 29964 according to the 2017 census by project elephant and if you ask about the iucn status it is endangered elephants are mentioned in appendix 1 of the sites convention appendix one of sites convention if you don't know about the sites convention you can watch the dedicated video on this convention in the environment primer playlist and they are also protected under appendix one of cms as recent as in 2020 so just imagine that they are endangered in india and we definitely need to protect them that is why we are placing them in various 
national as well as international convention so that we can accelerate their conservation efforts moving forward to the elephant conservation if you talk about a very important program that was started for the conservation of elephants it is the monitoring of illegal killing of elephants or that is known as the mike program so as i have explained to you that yes elephants are killed for illegal ivory trade illegal ivory trade they face the issues of habitat loss due to deforestation habitat loss due to deforestation and they do not even have a legal protection dedicated to them in india and that is why conservation of elephants become even more important so this mike program was initiated in south asia in 2003 as per the site cop resolution so mike is an international initiative tracking elephant mortality trends and causes of the elephant mortality then it also supports its database also supports global decision on elephant conservation in asia and africa so africa basically has two elephant species and asia has one that is the asiatic elephant moving forward the data and analysis are also presented at annual sites meetings and cop meetings the mike program has one of its primary mandates to build capacity in elephant range states throughout the globe okay and mike is entirely reliant on donations since 2001 the european union has been the largest donor to the mike program in africa and since 2017 it has been the largest donor in asia so basically the countries around the globe are recognizing the mike program for the conservation of elephants moving forward to the mike sites in india if you talk about the mike sites in india they are tirang ripu in assam dhangpatki in assam eastern duars in west bengal deomali in arunachal pradesh garo hills in meghalaya Mayur Bhanj in Orissa, Mysore in Karnataka, Nilgiri in Tamil Nadu, and Shivalik Uttarakhand and Vyanad, Kerala. Let me know of which political leader Vyanad is the constituency in the comment box below. It is irrelevant for uh, here, but yes, it it is a important fact which you should know. So kindly drop the answer in the comment box below. Okay, moving forward. to so the indian scenario of conservation of elephants so we are having elephant corridors so what are these elephant corridors these are the special pathways special pathways that are created for the smooth passage of the elephants we all know that elephant moves in herds so to protect them from getting stuck or being hurt we create these special pathways known as the elephant corridors and as of now there are 101 dedicated elephant corridors in india then there is this program known as hathi mere sathi campaign which raises awareness about the conservation of elephants in the local people okay then there is elephant task force that was constituted in the year 2010 and it has also raised some very valid points about the conservation of efforts of the indian government of elephants okay and this elephant corridors awareness is also raised through gaj yatras gaj yatras okay then there is the national portal on human elephant conflict called as suraksha for the collection of real time information and also for managing the conflicts on a real time basis and why are these human and elephant conflicts happening because there is a habitat loss of elephants due to the development activities of the humans in fact these elephant corridors are also encroached by the human activity and that is why there is a continuous human elephant conflict that is going on in fact the uh, uh, government of india is also tracking the elephants through gps technology and they are using some rehab centers also so that the elephants can exist peacefully with the human 
population moving forward to the global scenario of conservation we have already studied about the mike program but there are other programs as well such as the elephant trade information system or the etis was set up in 1985 that is managed by traffic to regulate ivory trade because elephants are being killed for illegal ivory trade all across the globe a usa parliament african elephant conservation act was enacted in 1988 leading to the formation of the african conservation fund and we also have a asian conservation fund also asian conservation fund okay then there is wwf another international agency which is working for the conservation of elephants and its first project known as the lumparda elephant project 1988 with buffer zone creation as an important strategy led to a significant dip in the elephant poaching and it is also working in close proximity with india and nepal for conservation of asian elephants okay moving forward then there is e8 ministerial meet so india hosted first ministerial meet, meet of e8 elephant bearing countries in new delhi in the year 2011 to bring scholars conservationists and policy makers together to form an elephant conservation forum so this e8 is a elephant conservation forum which includes all of the countries across the globe which have elephant population in them okay and a policy to restore elephant populations in 50 countries in coming 50 years under the umbrella of e5050 forum so this e8 ministerial meet was another important global effort aimed at conservation of elephants moving forward convention on the conservation of migratory species of wild animals or the cop 13 it was held in india in 92020 and adopted the gandhi nagar declaration where the asian elephant was added to the global wildlife agreement that means the trade could be regulated the conservation efforts could be regulated and as i have mentioned before also that elephants are protected under appendix one of this cms which was held in the india in the year 2020 so we saw that yes elephants are important to us we studied about the project elephant we also saw the role of elephants in protecting the ecosystem we saw that yes they are known as ecosystem engineers because they play a very crucial role in protecting the ecosystem okay we also saw some of the indian conservation efforts and the global conservation efforts in saving our jumbos so elephant conservation remains a global concern and definitely project elephant is a very ambitious project launched by the government of india to protect the elephants asiatic elephants in india so with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion now let us discuss the elephant reserves in india so as you can see that yes these are the important elephant reserves in india so it includes uttar pradesh er shivalik er terai er lemru er sambalpur south odisha er etc and if you ask about the state which has the highest population of elephants in india it is karnataka followed by kerala okay so karnataka in india has the highest population of elephants in india so definitely a lot has been done a lot remains to be done for the conservation of elephants okay and project elephant definitely is aimed at conservation of elephants and definitely we are trying to resolve the management issues in the project elephants as well okay so now let us discuss the previous question which i asked you because i said that i will be revealing the answers in this session so the previous practice question was which one of the following is an artificial lake and this is a pyq that has been asked in the year 2018 
your option A was Kodai Kanal, Tamil Nadu. Your option B was Koleru, Andhra Pradesh. Your option C was Nanital, Uttarakhand. And your option D was Renuka, Himachal Pradesh. So your correct answer will be Kodai Kanal, Tamil Nadu is an artificial lake. Moving forward to the next question. So the question was, which Ramsar site in India is known for its crucial role in the conservation of the olive ridley sea turtle? And I asked the IUCN status of olive ridley sea turtle, but you have not answered it in the comment box below. So kindly in this session, answer it in the comment box below that what exactly is the IUCN status of olive ridley sea turtle. So your option A was Bhitar Kanika mangroves. Your option B was Nal Sarovar Bird Sanctuary. Your option C was Pongdam Lake and your option D was Sambhar Lake. So your correct answer would be Bhitar Kanika Mangroves. It is a Ramsar site in India and it is known for its crucial role in protecting the olive ridley turtles. Now if I talk about the question for today's session. So the question is with reference to the elef Indian elephants consider the following statements. Your statement one is the leader of an elephant group is a female. Your statement number two is the maximum gestation period can be 22 months. Your statement three is an elephant can normally go on calving till the age of 40 years only. Your statement number four is among the states in India the highest elephant population is in Kerala. Which of these statements given above is are correct and this is also a PYQ that has been asked in the year 2020. So your options A are option A is 1 and 2 only, option B is 2 and 4 only, option C is 3 only and option D is 1, 3 and 4 only. So kindly drop your answers in the comment box below and we will be revealing the correct answer in the next session of Environment Primer. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, Kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. If you want the PDF of this session, you can subscribe to the Telegram channel, the link of which I share in the description box below. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.